Hi guys, in this video let's use variables and expressions in SSIS package data flow task for data export based on a query. This is a continuation video of SSIS project that is generate extracts based on a query in a table. Please watch the playlist in sequential order to understand this project better. Thank you. Let's continue to the package design now. So let's use variables and expressions in this package to make package as dynamic and generic. Before creating variables, we first need to identify the key properties that we have used in the package. So the key properties that we used in the package are SQL command, header, target file path, server name, and database name. So let's create a variable for each of these properties and copy the value into the variable value. So let's say command for SQL command, data type as string, copy the query into the value, and go to next variable that is header, string data type, and copy our header into the value and trim the text. It's not mandatory to trim the text. And go to next variable that is target file path. string data type and copy the file destination path to the value and enter file name. I want a date part at the end of the file name. That is I want to post fix a date part to the file name. So I'm defining it as file name underscore date part dot CSV. Now go to next variable that is server name. string data type and copy your server name. My server name is localhost and db name string data type let's make variables tab as float just to make visible and select data type as string now and enter your database name. My database name is wwi underscore dw. So now we are done with the variable creation, right? So let's map these variables to the actual property values using expressions. Let's open database connection manager that is our source connection manager. Right click and go to properties and then expressions. Go to connection string server name and then drag server name to the expression. Evaluate and click OK and go to Another property that is initial catalog for database name. Go to expression and then expand variables and parameters. 
drag db name evaluate and okay now we mapped server name and initial catalog to the source connection manager so now source connection is dynamic now go to destination connection properties and expressions and select connection string here and expression and then target file path because it is a file destination we have to select connection string as property and then target file path as expression value now right click on the data flow task properties and expressions and select header in the property search for the header yeah there it is file destination dot header expression and drag header variable to the expression evaluate and click ok and ok so now header is mapped to the data flow task double click on the data flow task and select data access mode as sql command from variable now select variable as command so it shows the query go to columns and click ok now the sql command and header is mapped to the data flow task so there will be no changes in the flat file destination connection because it's already pointing to the destination connection manager so no changes in the columns right so no no need to do any changes in the flat file destination connection so now execute the package so executed successfully it's inserted 65 655 rows to the flat file destination you can check that in the progress bar now go to file so file has been generated so if you notice file name is showing file name underscore yyyymmdd so we need to update that date part accordingly to the current date so file format and data is looking good which is as expected so let's go and change the date part in the flat file connection manager right click on the connection manager properties Go to expressions and go to expression so when you evaluate you can see the date part is not updating as we expected right so let's replace yyyy mmdd with the current date formatted as yyyy mmdd so let's search in google for the format so now let's search for the format in Google. Please don't feel shy to search for anything in Google. This is how an actual developer will follow in real time. Okay. Let's copy the command which is a selected as answer command to the expression and click evaluate expression. If there are any errors or if it doesn't resolve, then it shows error like this. So if you notice, the command is using their variable name, that is my. So let's change that my variable to our date, to the current date. Let's check the date functions in SSIS. So we have get date in SSIS, right? So let's use get date function in place of their variable name. Uh, 
and click evaluate so now it is showing correctly right so let's click on ok now ok and execute again executed successfully if you notice in the progress bar it is showing the file path as expected file path so it has generated a file in the destination location let's open it and check the file format and all so there is a header and data is as expected so file format is as expected so we are now done with the package conversion from static to dynamic so what's next test this package by changing the source query and header of the data flow task and check whether it performs the task as we expected or not let's think see you in the next video thanks for watching my video Thank you.